So Hamish, thanks so much for your time. Uh, Hamish, in March, um, you spoke to a couple of uh, us uh, media agents and you were talking about how Dubai a Trade Port was looking to re reek in investments to the tune of around 10 billion rand in the next five years. Yes. How does this announcement from a BA make your job easier or it doesn't? No, it certainly does, uh, <laughs> Fifi, thanks. Um, yeah, so it's maybe to start on, on that, you know, we're a special economic zone. It's a recent status that we acquired in the last three years. Um, and our mandate is very much to drive the growth of manufacturing, um, be part of the national drive to, to grow manufacturing and localization in the South African economy. But as a business, the way we've structured ourselves is to find as many opportunities as we can to add value to investors. So we own and operate the cargo terminal, for example. We run the industrial zones um, all the way through property operations, um, security. We own the properties um, and we facilitate the investment. We then have commercial zones and we have an IT business where we add value from, um, you know, in terms of lowering costs of, of, of business and, and various other interventions. Now, bringing that all together, we do it at an international airport. And, um, you know, what really drives economic development nowadays is this trend um, where major secondary cities are connecting up with the big economic hubs. It used to just be a lot of hub-to-hub -hub traffic and there would be a lot of feeding to, to cities. Um, you know, in, in a South African context, those would be cities like Cape Town and Durban, but around the world, you're, you know, Brisbane's and in the US, very many cities now which are connecting um, with major hubs. Now that opens up a whole array of new opportunities. Um, business, corporate travel, tourism travel, um, trade, cargo. Now, all of those then result, obviously, um, in a positive impact on, on in, in general, not only the, an investment, but on just general interaction between those destinations. So having the connectivity is critical. And for many years, we've looked at the BA um, option. We, well, we've looked at the London option, shall we say. And we've seen this huge group of travelers, 90,000 plus, moving between Durban and London on an annual basis and not being able to serve that market directly. So um, it's all part of a combined strategy, although on the, on the routes development, we work with our other partners, tourism, uh, Durban tourism, and KZN tourism. Uh, Hamish, I mean, right now, everybody's worried about this latest announcement from the US President Donald Trump to impose sanctions on Iran. Everybody's worried that this might actually turn out into a fully-fledged trade war because he's talking about any other countries that uh, support Iran, he will actually not support as the US. Has the, the, the heightened rhetoric of a trade war, um, does it throw a spanner in the works in your investment uh, drive or perhaps is it time now for African markets to really start looking uh, closely to doing more deals within each other to not be affected? Yeah, Fifi, I think quite hard to comment on, 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 on some of the, the issues, but very strongly I can say that from a, from a Dubai trade port perspective, our focus is firmly on Africa and has been now for a number of years. Um, and that's been reinforced by what we've heard from our investors. So very many of our manufacturers coming into our zone and we have a, ongoing conversations and we interact a lot globally. So, um, you know, at a number of different forums, um, be it at the BRICS forums, be it um, you know, most recently in Dubai at the World Foreign Direct Investment Forum. Um, the attention is focusing, yes, very much on the African market and that's where we're focusing ourselves to say, you know, Africa needs to establish strong um, logistics hubs, um, gateways um, that, that reinforce the ability to trade and we, we are definitely going into an integrated trade environment going forward. Um, and finding um, genuine physical platforms within which manufacturing and localization can occur on the continent rather than importing. So yes, there will always be a global trade environment and South Africa um, as a country will always be negotiating its way through that, that ever-changing environment. Um, I think we are on the right side of a story which is going to become a global story, I think, um, over certainly the decades to come, which is how do we create um, the, the, the trade within the continent itself and support that trade.